Hi, I'm Erin. I'm a physical therapist that works in the NICU at Mary Washington Hospital. I've been in the NICU for about five years and I help new parents learn about how to safely position their infant in a car seat. All of the information that we are sharing can be found either on a website for Safe Kids, the company that provides car seat safety certifications, or the DMV website for Virginia, or the Department of Health for Virginia. The recommendations for safe car seat use are based on the knowledge that we have right now. Some basic things to know about car seats is they do have expiration dates. Usually it's on the bottom of the seat and most infant car seats are good for six to seven years. This is to make sure that the plastic and all of the components are still able to do what they're supposed to do and maintain their integrity. Manufacturers do not recommend using a car seat that has been in an accident where your car is totaled. If you're in an accident but your car is not totaled, we always recommend calling the manufacturer, explaining what happened in the accident, and letting them make the judgment on whether or not you should get a new car seat. We do recommend that you register your new car seat for recalls. Most car seats come with a card that you can mail into the manufacturer, or if you threw the card away, you can use the manufacturer number that's on the bottom of your seat to call or always register them online. This way, if there is a recall about your car seat, the company contacts you and you never have to worry that you've missed something. It's not recommended to have anything over a baby's face when they're riding in the car. Things like the car seat handle or those cute toys that can hang off of it or even a sunshade could be crushed into them during an accident. Items like that should be tucked behind the car seat when they're riding in the car. Nothing should be over your baby's face and head when they're riding in the car. Infants will sit at a 45 degree angle in your car. What this means is that most kinds of seats come with a base. If the base is set correctly, the car seat will be right. A base will have a line or a bubble level or a little dot that changes color when it's in the correct spot. Car seats themselves will also have a line or a level on it to tell you when it's at the right angle for your baby. This is to make sure they're safe and that they can breathe well riding in the car. It's not recommended to have anything heavy or bulky like clothes on your baby while they're riding in the car. Something like a snowsuit or jacket can make the straps looser than they appear and make the impact bigger in an accident. Babies should just have on a regular outfit and if it's cold outside, you can put blankets on top after they're buckled in. We also don't recommend anything behind the baby in your seat that doesn't come with the car seat from the manufacturer. Any items that are off the shelf are not crash safety tested and a manufacturer will not guarantee the safety of your baby if there are other products behind the baby. For any baby who is smaller, anything behind them could push their head forward and make it harder for them to breathe. Lastly, babies who need help with their head usually need help all the way down their body. We use other things like blanket rolls to help support their whole body and take up any gaps in the car seat. When we put babies in their car seat, we look at a couple different things for positioning. You should always make sure the shoulder straps hit right at or just below their shoulders. All car seats will adjust the straps a little bit differently, but read your manufacturer book to tell you how to move them and get them in the right spot. The straps for this baby show they should hit right at the shoulders. The buckle comes across. If there's too much space at the bottom, your baby could slide too far down in the car seat, which would make it hard for them to breathe. Make sure you scoot the baby all the way back when you're buckling them in. You may need to use a washcloth roll at their crotch to help keep them in that position. The bottom piece of the leg strap should come over your baby's thigh. You don't want it landing over their knee or hitting the lower leg. When you tighten the straps, you should always be able to get your finger underneath the strap at the top and the bottom, but you don't want to be able to pinch any extra material. That will tell you it's too loose for your baby. This baby is nice and snug, but you can still get your finger under the strap. As you can see, you cannot pinch any extra material. The goal when your baby is positioned well is that they sit straight up in the car seat right through the middle. You should be able to fit your finger between their chin and their chest without moving their head. This tells you your baby has an airway and plenty of room to breathe. 
if they're slumped down in the seat or too far down, when you put your finger in that space, the whole head will move and you will know that something needs to be adjusted. Babies who are smaller may have a big gap on either side. As they grow, they may have trouble keeping their head up, which is not ideal. We can use a blanket roll on either side to help the baby stay in the middle. The goal is that they should be beside the baby, not behind them. Make sure you use a blanket on both sides so that your baby is not lopsided. As they grow, the blankets will come out when your baby can hold the middle on their own and don't need extra help to support their head. The law in Virginia is that babies have to be rear facing until they are two years old or they meet the minimum weight requirements for a forward facing seat as stated by the manufacturer of the car seat. That recommendation is based on research for head and neck strength for infants. They don't have the strength to protect their head in an accident until they are at least two years old. When children get older and their legs get longer, parents ask if they should turn the seat around so that the legs fit better. The research is that it's safer for children to sit with their legs crossed and still be rear facing until they are at least two years old rather than turn them around to be forward facing. The nurses here are familiar with car seats and how to position your baby. You can also reach out to local agencies such as police or fire departments to help with installing or checking your car seat. Our nurses can provide a list of local resources. Feel free to ask our nurses questions or call the manufacturer of your car seat and ask them anything you think you need to know about safety. They're happy to answer it. They want your kids to be safe too. Thanks for listening. Congratulations and good luck.